Yeah. You can do it as your English <laughs> accent that you did last night if you wish. <laughs> okay, but what does it mean when you're, um, what's the word that's like? Cocky. Co co cocky. Is that the word? Is that the word? No, yeah. no, no. When you have like. Cockney. Cockney. Yeah. Cockney. Hello, this is Christopher Michelle, and you're watching Pinball Dog right here in London. <laughs> Straight out of New York. <laughs> <laughs> So that was my introduction to Europe because I hadn't seen, I flew in right before that. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen anybody or heard anybody and I was like, welcome and we're going to sing your songs now. It sounds like this. Spot in New York, very similar to the Jazz Cafe. It has open mic nights every Sunday, and an A and R found my demo. Well, an A and R's assistant found my demo in a pile of junk, to be quite honest. Wow. Okay. And she saw me. This junk pile, like just sitting <laughs> in, the, in the Def Jam building. She came and saw me perform at that spot, mm -hmm. and then she brought the A and R, who she worked for, to come and see me perform. And then he had me go to the record label and sing for Ellie Reed. The day he saw me perform is when I got signed. <laughs> I was in a state of mind like, I'm an indie girl, I mean, I don't really care what anybody thinks, and if you like me, you like me, if you don't, you don't, but, but as soon as I got signed, I was like, oh my god, it's <laughs> got signed, it's out of jail, it's oh. <laughs> big, it's weird, when I got signed, I said, really, those are the words that came out of my mouth, and then I said, and you don't want me to change anything, and he was like, no, I've got enough of that other stuff, I need somebody like you. What I set out to achieve was for me to say some things that I had been through um, without being afraid. I thought that all my interview questions would be based on, well, exactly what happened. Did he smack you? <laughs> Just, I thought it would be like really scary, but it ended up being so relatable for the average girl and the average guy. <laughs> He's so silly. He, he, you would think that he was my cousin if you came and watched us because we fight like sister and brother. He's like, no, I think this is better. And I'll be like, well, no, I think that's better. I am not a perfectionist yeah. at all. No? I like to do it once and to be done with. If I don't like it, let's move on. And so that marriage between somebody who's a perfectionist and someone who's not works really, really well um, because he understood me. Um, and was able to make me push harder, and I was able to kind of make him relax a little bit. We balanced each other out. You know, sometimes in the bathroom, I think I'm so, and I'm so loud in the bathroom. I'm always impersonating somebody. Sometimes I try to sound like John Legend when I'm in the bathroom. So I'm like, Billy Holiday, Sarah Vaughn, Big Speedy Beck, Art Blakey, Jazz. And then I wrap my towel around my head and I try to sound like this guy who can buy a dude with a I just get a task it, I lost my yellow basket, that kind of stuff. I loved my mom to death. 
Yeah. Um, she's right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I never wanted her to leave my side. So if I could just be with her, I would go anywhere. It was choir rehearsals where she was all the time, so I just decided to be with her in choir rehearsal. Yeah. So I love people really, really badly. That's good. Yeah. I'm it's not great. afraid of love at all. It doesn't scare me. It scares a lot of people. It does. Yeah, but I'm a very free spirited person. soul back in a special way. Maxwell's album debuting at number one on the Billboard charts in the, in the States is really, really special. I'm really, really excited about the the new sound of soul. How about hip hop? Are you into hip hop? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of artists are you into at the moment on that kind of side? Okay. <laughs> um, I was a hip hop head. I used to rap. I still do. I'll rap on my next album, I think. Yeah. Look at it. What's happening? I, I was featured on an album called Hip Hop Is Dead. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Again, tell us something about. How's hip hop here? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going here? I know my brother told me not to make a lady cry, but that's a UK dubstep. I think she definitely shot now. Cool. And it's like a mix between rap and like pop. It's not even that. I don't. I wouldn't even. I'm know. just gonna. I'm just gonna so like, oh, yeah, find it. Find it. Definitely Super. find it. Okay. Five minutes. <laughs> you know, we're having a very serious conversation here. Trying to figure some things out. Hey, I'm gonna leave you there. Should be done. 